When it comes to the NFL draft, the Houston Texans will have the 23rd overall pick in the first round and the 59th selection in the second. I am going to do a two-round mock draft for you guys. I am excited for this upcoming draft class. These are going to be the pieces that the Houston Texans believe can get them one step closer to their first ever AUC championship, their first ever opportunity at a Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are going to have a very blessed day tomorrow. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. This episode was brought to you by my friends at Underdog Fantasy. Use my promo code 713HOU to get a bonus deposit up to $100. I'm going to do a five-leg parlay for the Super Bowl tomorrow. I have Patrick Mahomes going over 261 and a half passing yards. I have Christian McCaffrey. A Russian touchdown. I have Travis Kelsey. A receiving touchdown. I'm going to go George Kittle. Over five receptions. And I am going to go Brock Purdy. Oh, three Russian attempts. I'm going to take the over on that. And you see here a five leg. I'm going to put $20 down to potentially win 665 guys that the link is in the description. Let me know if you tell. Enjoy the game. Now with the 23rd pick, I've could have gone a different of ways. Let me know what you think are the biggest draft needs for the Houston Texans. If I went corner, I would have went with someone like Kool-Aid McKinstry from Alabama. If it was defensive lineman, someone like Byron Murphy from Texas. If it was a wide receiver, Troy Franklin out of Oregon. But today, I went with Chomp Robinson, edge rusher from Penn State. This is what a draft expert had to say about Chop. I wrote before the season that Robinson had the potential to break out, but he never quite put it all together. Following up a five-and-a-half sack season in 2022 with a solid four in 2023, his 18% pressure rate was really solid, but it didn't translate into production. Still, I expect Robinson to test well at the combine, and we know NFL teams fall in love with edge rushers who have high upside traits. Robinson is still a bit raw, but he has tools with which to work with. Now, the 6'3", 250-pound edge rusher is the Jonathan Grenard replacement here if Jonathan Grenard does not sign to return to the Houston Texans. Edge rusher now becomes a big need for you. You feel it here with Chop. His stats in 2023, 26 pressures, 12 defensive stops. If you don't know what a defensive stop is, it means the play went for either zero to negative yards and three sacks on the season. Like the draft expert said, NFL teams are going to fall in love with the edge rusher who has high upside traits. He has a wicked first step. It is going to be a problem in the NFL. Plays with good leverage. But as good as he is as a pass rusher, like the article mentioned, Robinson is still a bit raw. Not a good run defender. That's why some people have him coming out of college as a designated pass rusher until he learns and continues to grow as an edge rusher. But this is a guy who plays with such a high motor. It screams swarm mentality. D'Amico Ryans gets his hands on one of the top edge rushers in this draft. Go ahead and sign me up. That's what I am going with at pick 23. Now, with the 59th selection, I went with wide receiver A.D. Mitchell from the Texans Longhorns. This is what some draft experts had to say. The 6'4 Mitchell broke out after transferring from Georgia, catching 55 passes for 845 yards and 11 scores for the Longhorns in 2023. He thrived on crossing routes using his size and quickness to get separation from defenders. He has great hands. The position I almost went with, Nose tackle because Tavondre Sweat could be a great fit in the middle for the Texans defense. A.D. Mitchell, his stats this year, well, he's six foot four, 896 pounds. You would like to see a little bit more meat on the bones. However, speed kills, and this guy would be a home run threat for the Houston Texan offense. 55 receptions, 845 yards, 11 touchdowns, fantastic hands, great route running. I mean, this dude is a big play just waiting to happen. 
And I think that's what the Houston Texans offense needs is a consistent, deep threat weapon. And I don't think the Houston Texans have that. However, Nico Collins and both Tank Dell have showed they can be deep weapons for you. But you just have someone like A.D. Mitchell who could just outrun your corner, just beam straight from the end zone, throw it as far as you can. I'll go up and get it but then also has the ability to run routes for you and someone who has reliable hands. And I think he could shine here on the Houston Texans and have an immediate impact. I mean, we've seen Tank Dell have an immediate impact. Why can't A.D. Mitchell? I mean, I think this would be a sexy pick for the Houston Texans. Your offense gets a much-needed boost. If you are drafting a wide receiver with the second pick, that means you spin in defense. Ladies and gentlemen, I win Chomp Robinson at 23. I win A.D. Mitchell at 59. Let me know what you guys think about this two-rock mock draft. What are some prospects that you like? Let me know who you have one of the big games tomorrow. Go Texans. Have a very blessed day.